Have you ever wondered what led to the fall of the greatest empire in history? Picture the Roman Empire at its zenith. It was an era of unparalleled power and prosperity. From the sun-scorched sands of Africa to the misty forests of Britain, the empire's dominion was vast and its influence undeniable. The Roman military, a well-oiled machine of discipline and strategy, was a force to be reckoned with. They were the guardians of a realm where roads stretched like arteries, connecting bustling cities adorned with grand architecture. The sophisticated culture of the Romans was a blend of innovation and adaptation. They were patrons of the arts, connoisseurs of literature, and masters of law and governance. Their achievements in these fields still resonate with us today. But beneath the surface of this shining civilization, seeds of decay were being sown. The Roman Empire, once a beacon of civilization, was on the brink of a downfall from which it would never recover. One of the major factors that led to the fall of the Roman Empire was its economic decline. Imagine a realm where the economic engine that once fueled its greatness starts to sputter and stall. In the case of the Roman Empire, rampant inflation began to take hold. The value of Roman money plummeted, causing prices to skyrocket. Adding to the economic woes, the empire's taxation system became increasingly oppressive. High taxes compelled many farmers to abandon their lands, which in turn led to a significant decrease in trade. This spiral of events further weakened the economy. But the financial troubles didn't stop there. The Roman Empire had been blessed with abundant natural resources. But as the centuries wore on, these began to deplete, adding another strain on the economy. The once thriving empire found itself caught in a web of financial and resource crises that it could not untangle. A weakening economy was just one of the factors that began to chip away at the empire's foundations. The Roman Empire, known for its mighty military, began to suffer significant defeats. Yes, you heard that right. The Roman legions, once the epitome of discipline and might, started to falter and crumble, losing battles they would have previously won with ease. The territories they had once conquered began slipping through their fingers like sand. What was happening? It was a combination of overextension, internal power struggles, and a lack of innovation in military strategy. The empire was simply too vast to be governed efficiently and defended adequately. The legions were stretched thin, attempting to protect borders that spanned from the foggy moors of Britain to the arid deserts of Egypt. Now let's bring political corruption into the mix. The Roman Empire had a vast bureaucracy, and with it came the inevitable corruption. Bribes, embezzlements, and all sorts of underhanded dealings became a common occurrence. Officials were more interested in filling their own coffers than serving the empire. Moreover, the role of the emperor had become perilous. The pursuit of power led to a revolving door of rulers, often ascending to the throne through treachery and assassination. This instability at the top trickled down, leading to a breakdown of law and order, and further weakening the military's morale and effectiveness. Of course the two issues were intertwined, the weakened military couldn't control the vast territories leading to more opportunities for corruption, the corruption in turn further weakened the military creating a vicious cycle, the decline was gradual, almost imperceptible at first. But as the years wore on, the once mighty Roman Empire, the beacon of civilization, was being chipped away at from within. The pillars that held the empire were slowly, but surely, being eroded. The once invincible Roman military was losing ground, and the empire was riddled with corruption. This is not a story of a single catastrophic event leading to the fall of an empire, but rather a tale of a thousand cuts, each one contributing to the inevitable collapse of one of the greatest civilizations in history. The fabric of Roman society was also tearing at the seams, as the empire expanded, its social structure began to fray. The gap between the rich and the poor widened dramatically. The wealthy lived in opulence while the masses toiled in poverty. This stark inequality fueled resentment and discontent among the populace. Moreover, the Romans lost their sense of civic virtue, the very thread that once bound them together. The citizens who were once willing to sacrifice for the common good, now sought personal gain above all else. The culture of excess, decadence and corruption permeated all levels of society, from the humblest citizen to the loftiest noble. In the midst of this social decay, a fateful decision was made to divide the empire into two halves. This was an attempt to manage the vast territories more effectively, yet this division only served to exacerbate the problems. 
The Western Roman Empire with its capital at Rome struggled to maintain control, while the Eastern Roman Empire centered in Byzantium, thrived. The western half, beleaguered by internal strife and external threats, was the first to crumble. The eastern half later known as the Byzantine Empire survived for another thousand years, but it was no longer the Roman Empire as it had once been known. The division of the empire was the final nail in the coffin, leading to its inevitable collapse. The Roman Empire, once the world's most powerful entity, was now a shadow of its former self. The decline of this great civilization wasn't caused by a single event but rather a cascade of issues that gradually chipped away at its foundations. Economic decline, military defeats, political corruption and social decay all played significant roles in this downfall. Economic struggles triggered by excessive taxation and inflation resulted in a weakened economy that could no longer sustain the empire's vast territories. Military defeats, often inflicted by barbarian invasions, not only led to territorial loss, but also exposed the vulnerabilities of the Roman military. The political arena was riddled with corruption and instability, with power changing hands at an alarming rate. Emperors were often overthrown or assassinated, creating a climate of fear and uncertainty. This political turmoil only exacerbated the empire's problems, making it even harder to address its many challenges. The social fabric of the empire was also deteriorating. The division between the rich and the poor was becoming increasingly pronounced, leading to social unrest. The empire was also divided geographically, with the Western Empire falling into decay while the Eastern Empire, later known as the Byzantine Empire, managed to survive for another thousand years. The collapse of the Roman Empire wasn't a sudden event. It was a gradual process, a slow decay that took centuries. Could the fall of the Roman Empire have been prevented, or was it an inevitable consequence of its own success? Enjoyed the journey? Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more insights into history. Share your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next adventure through time.